The Ministry of Environment, Climate Action and Constituency Empowerment hosted its first Environment Commitment Campaign on Tuesday, 6th June at Palm Court Gardens. The event brought together several Ministers of Government, Ambassadors, the Governor General, members of the Federal Cabinet and other partners, including the Taiwanese Technical Mission, to commit financially to projects that impact the environment. Director of Environment June Hughes said in order to promote its mandate of environmental conservation, the department held the event with the objective of embracing and fully engaging with stakeholders. Without these critical partnerships, particularly those in civil society and the private sector, we would be working in vain. This gathering tonight, therefore, is a welcome occasion for you to chat with us and hear some more about some of our projects and to let us know where and how we can assist you in enhancing our delivery of sound environmental policy and meaningful interventions in respect of protecting and conserving our natural resources. The in her remarks, Minister of Environment and Climate Action, the Honorable Dr. Joyelle Clark, said the intention is to promote environmental stewardship. You are here for various reasons, whether you have the money, you have the technical skill, you have the bilateral partnership to offer, you have the resources or just your commitment of your time and your services. We want to partner with you here at the Ministry of Environment et al. Environmental stewardship is very specific. You have to care and then you have to give. And that's it. Care about the world that we live in and planet Earth and then commit. And that's what we're asking of you today. There are about six projects here, but that's not all that we do at the ministry. But six of these are particularly important because it affects us. The minister reinforced her seriousness as an environmental steward as she told the gathering of her presentation to the federal cabinet of what the ministry is planning for its Sustainable Island State or SIS agenda. She hinted at the creation of a Sustainable Island State agency that will function as a space to connect various interministerial initiatives to ensure that the federation becomes an SIS premised on climate resilience.